Did you hear about the Vulcan rocket booster? United Launch Alliance hoisted it for the Certification 1 mission at Cape Canaveral last October. NASA and Astrobotic are really hoping for a win with the Peregrine Lunar Lander. It's the first mission under NASA's commercial lunar payload services. The launch has a tight window early next week. The weather looks good for now, but a delay could push it back. Astrobotics' flight is just the beginning. They've got this big plan for commercial lunar missions, and NASA's buying in. Spaceflight is no joke. Even small mistakes can be catastrophic. NASA knows the risks, but they're still pushing forward. It's not just astrobotic in this race. Intuitive Machines and Firefly Aerospace have their own lunar missions lined up. NASA's aiming to kickstart a lunar economy. It's all about more jobs and less reliance on taxpayer money. Draper Laboratories got a mission lined up too, part of NASA's bigger commercial moon landing plan. NASA's got a $2.6 billion plan for these lunar missions. They're partnering with commercial companies to make it happen. Astrobotics Peregrine Lander has a big job. It's carrying five NASA experiments, and they've had to move the landing site. John Thornton from Astrobotics says they're ready but aware of the moon's challenges. It's a mix of terror and excitement. Astrobotics working within a tight budget, so they're flying with ULA's Vulcan. They've got various payloads, not just from NASA. Thornton says they've kept the program lean and creative, preparing for anything that could go wrong. The Peregrine Lander has a complex path to the moon. It'll take about 12 days to get there, then orbit at different altitudes. Landing on the moon is tough. Half the missions to the moon's surface have failed, so it's a big deal. If the Peregrine Lander sticks the landing, it'll deploy payloads to do science for about 10 days on the moon. NASA's got some cool experiments on board. They're looking for water, studying lunar soil, and measuring radiation. They're landing at Sinus Viscositatis. It's near these mysterious domes, and it's all part of NASA's bigger lunar exploration plan. Astrobotics carrying stuff from all over the world, including tiny rovers and a piece of Mount Everest. Even if something goes wrong, Astrobotics not slowing down. They'll learn and keep pushing forward in lunar exploration. Remember to like and subscribe.